Hello and welcome again to Ollie Talks Airsoft. Today we are talking about the Tokyo Marie AKM gas blowback rifle. And anyone that saw my uh, range testing and stuff will see that the maximum that this gun can hop out of the box is a 0.28. And for someone like me, I was hoping for a little bit more. So the best way to uh, hop heavier ammo is to change the hop up rubber. So basically this video is mostly going to be top down just showing you how to go in and change the hop up rubber on one of these guns so without further ado let's not waste your time let's go top down okay so in order to do this the first thing that we're going to need is uh, two phillips head screwdrivers one with a slightly finer point uh, one with a slightly wider point and i believe this is a four mil uh, allen key as well so we will start off by removing the magazine. I'll put that to one side. Then we will uh, press this button on the top here and remove the dust cover. We'll then push this forwards, pull it out and up. And now our whole bolt assembly will slide backwards once the gun is in one of the fire modes, doesn't matter which one, it can either be an auto or semi. Now moving forward, we, uh, we get this lever here, swing it upwards and this top part will come off. There's then a further lever here which gets pushed over, it releases the front end. And this piece here will just fall away. So it now leaves us with the receiver connected to the barrel and this is obviously our hop unit in here that we're going to try and get into. So I'm going to clear these other parts out of the way and we'll continue. So the next part of the process is there are two 4 mil bolts that actually go through the gun. So they can be found just here. So what you'll need to do is get in and they're pretty tight. So uh, hopefully you'll be able to see and you can basically just go in. What I'm going to do is I'll quickly do this uh, off camera because this takes a little while. So it doesn't look much different but you will note that the two bolts have now been removed. So what I'm going to do is just slowly uh, separate these and they do very easily come apart as you can see okay so that's how it uh, guides in so again I'll put this to one side and then this is the uh, inner barrel and you'll see this is actually the dry fire adapter and it just the inner barrel will just pop out here Okay, so let's see if I can sort the camera out so it stops flaring. No, I can't. Okay, hopefully that's not going to blow up quite as much now. So what you need to do is uh, pull this little part off, and you'll see there's a, just a small eyelet, and it actually engages with this big hole on the back side over this hole here. So I'm going to put that to one side and if you flip this over you'll see this is obviously the, the hop adjustment wheel and there is another um, Phillips head screw here and there's also one just underneath there that you can't quite see. So the first thing we're going to do is take off the hop up wheel. Okay. We won't be needing that screwdriver again, so we might as well just leave that. And here you can see on the back, there's the normal graduation that you would see, and that's how the hop actually adjusts. This connects in with this little bar here, which essentially moves it up and down, and you can see that it's captured in the bottom here so it doesn't slide out of place. Also, at the top, you'll see it's guided so that it's not going to slip either left or right. It's just going to be stay fixed in that position. Okay, 
once you've done that you'll notice there is an o-ring on the front here so i'd suggest leaving that where it is while you undo this screw here and this screw here one and that's the second one almost come on okay there we go that's the two screws okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slip the o-ring back and now there's nothing holding these two halves together and as you can see they just quite happily split apart so there's no other components here uh, there's no other bits this is all molded as the two halves and as you can see it does take a VSR spec bucking here and the one that I've got here is a 60 degree silicon Mr. Hop so what I'll do is I'll use the indexing points uh, on the side here and I will just uh, re-index this uh, with the hole and you should also note that the patch on the top of the hot rubber should be evenly distributed through that through that hole now I have had a quick look inside here and I do note that as you'll see that is nice and uh, nice and level just look down yep I did notice the o-ring come off uh, look down it looks uh, looks like it's not compressing anything so that that all looks completely fine the next thing I'll do is I'll slip that o-ring over the top and down that means that I don't have to worry about holding the two halves together and it will just stay like that which means that I can now concentrate on uh, any other work that I was wanting to do mostly putting it back together um, this space in here is not quite big enough for an eye key but something that I think is probably worth noting is that if you look at the shape here, so when it presses down, it pushes down like that. This is obviously shaped for the BB, but it's also perfectly shaped uh, to capture an I key. So if an I key, if there was slightly more space lengthways in, inside here, then I'm certain that an I key would fit. But currently there isn't, so um, maybe that's a small project for the future. So can uh, line this up and make sure that it's uh, going in and obviously applying a hop which I can confirm it is so the next thing that we're going to be doing is uh, now that we know that that's all correctly lined up I'm going to put these uh, screws back in So when you're putting the screws back in, I think it's quite important to know, just don't uh, over tighten them. So do them relatively tight, but don't over tighten them because if you end up stripping them, it's going to cause you no end of problems. Okay, and tight but not too tight. Having a look in there, it, not, it is not pinching the hot rubber. So again, that's good. So I'll drop the uh, drop the adjustment part back in, and I'll put this wheel back over the top. Biker crew going past. Okay. So I'll now get this and put it back on. So I'm not going to completely tighten it. All I'm going to do is just make sure that the actual adjustment uh, part is actually... Ah, there we go. It just made that little click. Now it's in there. So if I lay it down, I should be able to see it adjusting. So there we can see it's near the top. And if I turn it all the way round, you can see it's pushed it down to the bottom. So I know that's correct. So I'll continue tightening that up. 
It's a tiny. Okay, there we go. So just make sure that it still turns, and it does. Okay, that's exactly what we want. Next off, we can uh, we can just slide this back in, and we've then got our like dry our dry fire piece. What I'd say is put your thumb over the end, slip this over here, put your finger on, and there we go. Okay, and that just pushes back, and you get, hear a little click, and that's now all inserted. So the next part is just to uh, slide the uh, barrel of everything back into the receiver. There we go, slides in with a click, and I'm just going to stop the video here because I'm just going to put these two bolts back in. So there you have it. That's how you uh, that's how you change the hot rubber in here. So pretty um. Pretty cool. So while I put this all back together, let me uh, let me tell you about a couple of things that I've got coming up for this rifle. So a company called Bowmaster are coming out with um, uh, they've come out with 130% uh, recoil spring. So it'll basically be this thing here. But just a little bit more powerful so a lot of people have said and I agree with this uh, the bolt return on this is a little bit sluggish so that's obviously something that uh, that's going to be fun uh, but also Angry Gun have come out with a heavyweight um, uh, piston a steel one to go on here so I've ordered one of those as well because I'm all about uh, the maximum amount of recoil that I can get out of the gun, the maximum fun for each trigger pull. So I figured that's probably going to be the way to go. So um, I don't often say this, but yeah, if you uh, if you want to see that kind of stuff coming up, then make sure you're subscribed. Um, there's actually like 25% of, of viewers are subscribed, which is really high. So thank you guys, I really appreciate it. Um, that's that's awesome. I've heard of other people saying that it's like 10% of people are subscribed, so it's really nice that you guys are enjoying the content I'm putting out there. Um, so yeah, there we go. It's uh, all back together again. But let's just make sure that it uh, does function so that it's completely dry off because you've been into the hop. I know there's nothing in here. Okay, so dry fire works. Uh, right. I'm really looking forward to those upgraded parts coming through and putting them in here. Like getting even more recall out of this. Yeah, it's gonna be great. Hope I hope really hope you've enjoyed this. Um take care.